Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly generate PDF in Python. So you can use this to generate reports, invoices, bills or whatever. So let's get started. First of all, we need to install a library called FPDF. So just type Python and pip install FPDF. Hit enter and this will install. And now let's start with the code. First of all, we import a module that is called fpdf and it is from fpdf module in, uh, itself and let's create a function called create invoice so i'll create a sample invoice for you guys and let's go pass it customer name and items now let's initialize the fpdf class and let's add a page here And in this page, we will add some data. We've added one page. And let's set the font here. So I'll just set it to Arial. You can set any font that you have installed on your system. And it will be bold and the size will be 16. And now let me create a cell. And I'll write invoice in that cell. And then I'll add space. So this will be the heading. And now let's again decrease the size for the content of the PDF. So again, I'll do set font. And I'll leave the font to Arial. But this time it will not be bold and the size will be 12. So invoice will be written bigger and in bold and below that we'll have content in a smaller font. And let's create a new cell again. And this is where we write the content. And let's write the customer name here. And customer name is passed from this here. So we'll just copy this and paste it here again. We will enter a new line and let's say the total amount is zero for now and we will calculate the total amount for each item in this items list okay so let's just do loop through each of them and we'll add cell for each of the item so this is the item name and let's say this is the price Okay, so this looks good. And then again, we'll enter a new line. This time the spacing will be a little less because uh, I want to display all the items together. So before we had used space of 10 between each line. Now it's just eight because we want to group the items together, right? And again, finally, we'll just add the price of each item to this total. Okay, finally, again, we'll enter some new lines or some empty space and then we'll add a cell again and we'll show the total okay and let's just write this to a pdf now and i'll just call it invoice.pdf and after this is done i'll just print invoice generated I think the spelling is wrong here. Yeah. And finally, we have the function ready. We just now need to call this function. All right. So let's see how we can call this. So I'll just call this function create invoice. And let's say the customer name is John Cena. <laughs> and let's pass the items here. Okay. So let's say there is something called, I don't know, maybe a laptop. That is hundred bucks and we have let's say headphones that's 10 bucks okay so we have this dictionary here and we have called this function so let's see if this works or not so just run this and invoice generated is printed and we have our invoice here ready so let's try to open this yeah so as you can see 
Total is $110. We have laptop for $100 and headphones for $10. And the customer is John Cena. So yeah, this works. And this is how you can quickly do this. If And you can optimize this, so on. If you want to customize this list even more, you can just go check out this documentation for FPDF. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.